everybody, we're at the Atelier Brozzetti, very famous for loom woven textiles. And we're having a visit with Marta. And I'd like Marta to tell us briefly how the business started and with yeah. whom. It, was, it started with my great grandmother more than 100 years ago, because she started in 1921. Huh? And uh, I, I'm the first generation of women in my family. And we still use these old machines or looms original from 19th and 18th century. This is one of the last women's studio in Italy. One of the last. And what is wonderful about this is this is a women's business. Yes. It's the strength of the women yes. in this. Of course. And it was interesting because we visited the studio Moretti Caselli and it's the strength of the women there as well in that same yes. glass business. How is it that you're in a church? We're in a deconsecrated church. Yeah. How is it? Okay, first of all, this is the first Franciscan church in Perugia, one of the oldest in Italy. The church, okay, St. Francis left and prayed in this place. Mamma mia. And the Franciscans started to build this building in 1212. 1212. During the life of St. Francis. Who died in 1226. Yeah, yeah exactly. In 1254, the Franciscans sold the church to the Benedictine nuns. Now the name of this church is St. Francis of Women because there was a comment of nuns for centuries. San Francesco delle Donne. Yeah. Because uh, my father bought this building uh. in uh, 1955. And I moved this studio, the women's studio in this set in 1996. And it's very appropriate because you moved a business and the strength is women yeah. into a church of, women. of the women. Yes, it's exactly. really wonderful, San Francesco yeah. delle Donne. And then we became, we, of course, immediately we understood that it's a beautiful place where we where, where work. And uh, we became a museum too. This studio is not only a living studio, but it's a place to visit mm. too. This is a fresco of Giotto in Assisi. In, every, in so many fres frescoes of Giotto, you can see our medieval production. The name was Perusian Table Cloth. And these pieces were in ivory, this is a copy of course, in ivory with the, these little bands in blue. And the color was uh, ivory? And blue. And blue. Yes. The original colors. Mm -hmm. And through the centuries, we started to add our designs, our pattern. In this piece, for example, or this is a copy of the original, and the original is in the museum in Perugia, from the 14th century. We can see the griffon, the symbol of my town, with the fountain, of course, one of the most important monuments in, in Perugia. Mm -hmm. Still, the first part of the 20th century, in Umbria, every farmer at home had one or two looms to make materials. The so farm women, in fact, worked on the looms in yes, the evening near the yes, fireplace yes. after all day in the fields. Of course. It was always the or women. Or in winter time. Or in winter time. Yes, yes. Because they were so poor, and in the past it was unthinkable by families. Right. And my great grandmother gave a new life of this traditional work, surviving a simple way, the poor way, the countryside. Right. And give again a new life. Then the tradition survived through the centuries by women again. The women. Okay, can I show you my machine, my looms? I would love to see yeah. them. The too. colors are, are, are mine because uh, our production is typical white and blue, and of course, we added so many colors. But this kind of production with more colors together, like this uh, or like this, is typical of my production. Your production. Every woman, every woman in this studio changes the production about their personality. This is our oldest loom. It's original from 1750. This loom here. This loom. But the technique is from 12th century. Okay? Eighteenth, mid 18th century. But the technique in the yes. 12th century. Yes. Okay. You know, Pintoricchio was a famous artist in the 15th century and look the fabric around the baby. We can see it's this because mm. we still use the same folds and the same technique. With this kind of loom, I control the work with my feet, with the pedals and uh, open the warp. Look, there is an opening. In this opening, I send the shuttle with a bobbin inside. This is one single. Excuse me, what do you call this piece here? Uh, shuttle. This is called the shuttle? Yes. 
Okay, this is the shuttle. And then I send one shuttle. This is one single weld. And push it. But in the medieval time, we were so famous for our medieval Perugian prego cup. Remember the green from the farm? Yes, yes. And then at that time, they use 300 or 400 of them. And there were two people to control the warp and one person to win. This is a jacker machine. The jacker machine was invented in France in 1801 and was the first computer in the world. Every single step in this studio is made by hand. We put the warp by hand, we weave every single piece by hand put a new warp, the long threads, it takes us for this loom 12, 16 days of work just to set it up the loom, just to start. The setting by hand, 1,800 threads along each 80 meters.